Hey, welcome to episode two of Impact Weekly here at ImpactTV.com. I'm Thomas Woods. I'm hosting this show we call Impact Weekly, and I'm Director of Media Development at Impact America. For more information about Impact America, please visit our website at ImpactAmerica.org. As always, we're looking for your input and your suggestions, so if you've got an idea for something that you'd like us to include in an upcoming episode, please send us an email at info at impactamerica.org. So in this episode, we've got two new videos we're going to show you. We're going to watch them with you. And I found them on the internet on YouTube.com. I'm going to provide you a link to those because the original videos are worth watching because I'm only using just a little bit of the clips of them here. And, uh, of course, I'd like to give credit where credit is due, so the sources of those videos are going to be listed at the end of this video today. This first video is some game action of the video game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which is a huge hit. Over 20 million copies of this game have sold worldwide, and that makes it the uh, second most popular video game in the history of video games here in the United States. And of those millions of people who played this game, we're not sure how many of them actually got to the part of the game where you see the EMP attack, so we're going to highlight that. We're going to see what that looks like. And we're not sure how many people understand that this is not just a made-up video game type of a situation. This is a real possibility. This is based on science, not science fiction. So let's, uh, let's watch some of this video. All right, so in this we see from the astronaut's, astronaut's point of view, he's up at the space station, he's doing an extravehicular mission. Houston, mission control, calls up and says, hey, look over there. Now, this is what it might actually look like. So um, that's why it's in the game. Obviously, you're not an astronaut in Call of Duty. But they've asked him to look. They think that there's something going on. They're trying to see is it a launch of a missile or what. Um, he's looking around. But then there you see the nuke. It blows up. It's over the East Coast. Everything goes dark. And the pulse even affects the astronaut. Knocks him out. Now back on the ground, the first thing you see is a helicopter falls out of the sky. That's true. Uh, they're heavily electronic dependent helicopters today. And if an EMP hits them, they're not going to be able to control it anymore. They're going to come down in the sky. So that's an interesting video. In a scenario like this where an EMP attack hits a modern battlefield, especially in an urban situation like in this gameplay, you're going to notice that the tactical advantage of the soldiers is lost when their electronics is gone. And I don't know how many people realize that that's science fact and not science fiction. And you can check that science out at our website, impactamerica.org. But not right now. Right now we want to look at our second video. It's a video of a calculator being uh, subjected to an electromagnetic pulse. In this video, the user made his own EMP generator. It's a small device. And he subjects a calculator, an ordinary common calculator, to the electromagnetic pulse. And then you see what happens. EMP gun versus calculator. He's calling it a gun. Um, it's actually not in a gun format. You can see it's, it's um, a pretty cool hookup that he's got there. Here he's got a calculator. Uh, I think he's just showing right now that it works. He's pressing the number 9 over and over again. Now when he places it down next to the EMP generator, in the original video um, you can hear a clicking sound when he hits that actuator button on the left side there. But uh, because there was a lot of music in the soundtrack, I, I dropped the audio so that I could talk over it. Um, but do go check it out, the original video. We'll have a link at the end here. And um, you, can, you can see really what's going on. And he does more stuff too, this user. He's got a lot of really cool electronic setups. Um, so now that the EMP generator has hit this thing, you can see that it kind of works. But when he hits buttons, there's really no effect. Everything is just a zero. So you can see that that calculator doesn't stand a chance against an EMP generator like that. Now that's a small scale EMP pulse, so if you could imagine how devastating this would be on a larger scale. And uh, certainly you could imagine if a nuclear device was detonated in our atmosphere, how widespread the damage would be. Or uh, a solar storm, a severe solar storm, how that would affect a large widespread area and all the electronics that are there within it. So um, check out those videos at YouTube. I'll post the links here. And uh, when you get a chance, visit our website. We've got a lot of information at impactamerica.org. That's this week's episode. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week at impacttv.com.